Excellency Santana, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and good evening. <clears throat> it's a great pleasure to be here this evening with all of you and fellow Pakistanis to celebrate a very special occasion. Her Majesty, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, marking 70 years of her remarkable reign. <clears throat> on behalf of the government and people of Pakistan, and on my behalf, I wish to convey to you, Ambassador, to Her Majesty and her government, our warm felicitations on this historic occasion. I would like to thank you, High Commissioner, for the wonderful hospitality extended to us this evening. And there is no doubt that ever since you have been posted here, you have done a wonderful job to bring the people of Britain and Pakistan closer than ever before. And I'm sure you're going to build on this wonderful work. And we are there to support you in every endeavor that we too nations which are absolutely bonded in historical relations transform these relations into more friendly and business investment and trade relations which is something which is called of the day ladies and gentlemen her majesty the queen is a symbol of unity hope and continuity not just for the UK, but for the entire Commonwealth family. We all recall that upon her accession to the throne 70 years ago, she pledged to commit her life to the service of her nation. And her life and outstanding record have <clears throat> shown the commitment of incredible service to the United Kingdom the Commonwealth and its people. Her reign defines an era, a period marked by unprecedented spirit of friendship, cooperation and goodwill towards all the Commonwealth member states. The people of Pakistan have special affection for the royal family. Whenever a member of the royal family has visited Pakistan, we have extended a very warm welcome. This affection and goodwill is reciprocated in equal measure. Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee coincides with Pakistan's 75th independence anniversary, as well as the anniversary of 75 years of our friendship between Pakistan and the UK. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a witness to British support to Pakistan for at least 10 years as my service to the people of Punjab as Khadme Punjab. DFID, which is a very important organ, and now it's been transformed into another uh, into department, contributed during my watch something like 600 million pounds to Pakistan, all the provinces, including Punjab. And we really benefited hugely from this program. It was about primary education. It was about mother-child health care and many other interventions. And one of the most uh, memorable contribution was, it was called Punjab <coughs> Scale Development Company. It was not about brick and mortar. It was not about uh, building buildings or buying machinery. It was about investment in the students, girls and boys, who were empowered through skill training in various trades. And we hired companies, invested in young students, and now by thousands, they are great builders of Pakistan. This is what I think this British-Pakistani entire cooperation is all about. 
Finally, I would say that it's our great pleasure to resolve. I spoke to Prime Minister Boris Johnson last week, and we have resolved to bring our two countries together and, and closer in trade and business, and we are expecting a delegation from Britain very soon. Thank you very much for bringing this cricket team back to Pakistan after 17 years, and I can bet you we will win the matches. <laughs> In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I conclude by wishing Her Majesty long life and good health and the friendly people of the United Kingdom continued peace, prosperity, and success in all endeavors. Three cheers for the Queen, her health and happiness, and our friendship and our wonderful relations. Pakistan, Bardaniya ki dosti, Zandabad.